So today we're going to start with picking up some of these rocks. They're just too big uh, to leave in the road. There's some really big ones over there. But the other thing I noticed, this is sort of the, the line, if you will, vein where I've seen a lot of rocks. And the other thing I've noticed, I've not been here for a couple days, not had much rain, but a lot of this, like those puddles with that odd color, just seems to be coming out of the ground. You can see all the rocks here. So I'm guessing that's related to this vein of rocks that just collect water. And then when I made a, a spot for that to run off from, uh, sort of below the water level, it'll just run out like right here. See all that rust colored water. I don't know what sort of minerals make that because the back of this sod pile is pretty much dry. I drained it over there. I used to be a puddle right there, but there's really no other puddles along here. So that's just something in the ground that's leaking out. It still makes for some muddy conditions. So let's pick some rocks.
So with the biggest rocks picked out, actually I was able to place several of them. I'll probably have a pile here too that I'll move to the dump trailer, but uh, now that I've done that, uh, I will continue on with the bulldozer and just push this stuff here. Since I've decided to move the road this way, um, it's actually easier now to push the bulldozer because it's downhill. To push with the bulldozer because it's downhill, even though it's rather uh, hard material. Uh, onto the road, then I can raise the road level rather than what I had been doing, which is pushing it that way. I'm sure I'll run into other rocks, but excavator will be in hot standby there if I need to pick them. And uh, here we go.
So another uh, a foot, foot or so higher, maybe 18 inches in some spot, but another round of picking rocks here. It's like a rock graveyard. It was over there, this big one here. There's this here, which I hit with the blade. This is either a super big rock or a piece of ledge that is going to stay there. <laughs> More rocks over here. I think one in the ditch there, a big one there that I actually forgot last time. So it's shaping up nice, a little bit more the same, so I'll probably do some work and then we'll catch up when there's a bit more obvious progress. But the road, instead of curving way off to the right where the dozer is, it'll sort of go between the two machines um, a little uh, higher and a little less of a curve. Uh, again, as I mentioned in the last video, to try to make sure the headlights aren't shining up through the field into any house or cabin that might be in there. So I picked up the obvious big rocks. This one over here that I was concerned about that I thought might be a real big rock or a ledge actually wasn't too big. It was just a rock. It's one of these. I think it's that one right here. So rock piles getting bigger. So while I had the excavator out, I thought I would use it to knock down that uh, sort of steep wall. I've knocked down a lot of it, so it's not quite as dramatic as it was. But So a couple reasons. One is this really hard material, as you saw with the dozer, particularly if I hit rocks, it's very hard on it. But here, with such a steep embankment, I'd have to be at a weird angle or push it into the ditch. This part of the ditch here, I'm not going to fill in like I had been over here, because the road is going to start curving a little bit and head that way. So most of this ditch that you see here is going to remain, so I don't want to fill that in either. So if I get this to a decent grade, then I can actually uh, grade it off with a dozer at a bit of an angle and not have to worry about stuff sliding into the ditch. I wanted to update my rock guards, which seem to be performing very well. I mean, I've done a lot of twisting and turning on very uneven ground. You know, those sort of pivots. Uh, if the track didn't come off, it would have made a lot of noise. I would have heard it, you know, with the with the rails coming off the, um, the, ro the bottom rollers. I don't see any indication of problems. All the bolts seem to be in place no obvious bending of this so i'm very happy with that all right so this uh edge here has been softened uh, i think this whole area actually is is pretty decent as far as grade wise so i can easily more easily push stuff around with a dozer um, i mean there's some real hard packed i don't know if you want to call it hard pan or just packed um, clay but that's very hard it comes up relatively easy with the tooth buckets, you know, but with a, an eight foot blade or so on the, the dozer sticking in, there's a lot of, a lot of force there to, to break that stuff loose. Well, more of the same. I'm gonna push more of this loose dirt here on, on the road base. Kinda get a feel for, I think I'm, I'm almost set for the grade here, you know, where the tripod is right there, up to the dozer. But I'll push more over here, 
uh, avoiding the ditch and probably push most of it uh, forward and just grade this out here so uh, it's sort of the, the elevation of the slope that I want. And then the real purpose of me raising the road actually comes when you make the slight turn. So I'd actually like the peak of the road to be right about here. So as then you make the turn, you're sort of going level or maybe even downhill a bit. Well, it is uh, looking a lot better. Even able to, to grade this to sort of match in with the slope of the grass there to the right. Not sure exactly in here where the uh, road will go. I'll probably do a little bit more sort of rough grading before we figure that out. I have a lot of uh, dirt to put in here. I think I'll get that from up there. You probably saw there trying to cut into the, the virgin soil there. It, it works with a dozer. Um, it's just a little bit slow, I think. You can probably only grab maybe an inch or two at a time. So I have some more rocks to pick. There's that one. There's that one there. There's a bunch in here. This is sort of my rock graveyard, I guess, to unearth that. And uh, work on the slope there. Actually, what I'm sort of doing is... Um, the farmer that mows my field, he's mowed a couple of them, but he hasn't mowed this one. I really would like to push this sod pile back a bit further. Uh, so again, I can do the same thing with the slope over there as I did there, sort of soften it a bit. But I'd like him to mow it first, rather than either me having to bush hog there or uh, push push that into good, good hay. So almost ready to start tackling this washout, uh, this muddy stuff that I pushed up the, pushed over here. The last, the last video is actually starting to dry out quite a bit, but there's still a little bit of puddle. But I think this will be fine to, to grade out when I can get over here. You can see here we're probably about level from where I'm standing to where the peak of that stuff is that I just uh, pushed. I think that'll be good. I'll pick the rocks and continue pushing dirt until I run into the sod pile there where I don't want to push anymore.
So the slopes now are much more gentle. I still have a fair amount of material I want to take and can take from right about there. Um, the hump here is pretty much how I'd like it, at least as a first take. The other objective I had for, well, this, really this day, these couple days, before I have to take a break and let the rain come in again, is to make this passable all the way to the field, which it is. So the high point uh, of this road is still over there, which I really can't avoid. I have, have to go up because <laughs> that's where the lay of the land is. But it's a lot better. I may use some of that material here. In fact, I probably will move that over to here uh, and make this the high spot. So hopefully to make this a bit more level so the headlights point sort of into the into the roll of the field there ahead instead of up into the horizon. So it's still quite a bit uh, of mud here, but I was able to smooth it out, track it in enough where, unless we get another historic flood, we should be okay as far as that goes. And I have access here with my tractor. In fact, I have some firewood out there along the tree line to get with my with my uh, forwarding trailer, forestry trailer, logging trailer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so easy access here. So I still need to do a little bit of work there on the slope, uh, make sure that's where we want it, and then uh, take this topsoil and spread that back out. So I think it's a good stopping point. I probably won't hit this again for another two or three days, depending on how much rain we get. How much drying out it needs to do so this i think is part four whatever part it is i appreciate you watching and stay tuned for the next one thank you very much